Hello princesses! Today I'm going to be talking about the Tony Molly 7 Day Tattoo Eyebrow. Tony Molly 7 Day Tattoo Eyebrow Pen Temporary Liquid Tattoo. Mild ion pigments and high molecule polymer absorbs into your skin and stays for 3 to 4 days. You can go swimming or take long baths without worries. It's made with natural ingredients so it's hypoallergenic and safe to use. It dyes skin cells and it naturally fades in 3 to 4 days. You can use this before you go to bed or in the morning when you're putting on your makeup. If you're using this before you go to bed, you need to wash your face and towel dry. Do not put your skincare products on as they may decrease the effect of the tattoo eyebrow. Don't let the brush tip get any dirt, oil or water on it. With the brush tip, slowly draw and fill your eyebrows to make the desired shape. The first application should be drawn darker than your regular eyebrow makeup. If you need to fix the shape, please do so before drying completely. Do not put your skincare products directly on the eyebrows while drying the 7 day tattoo. Go to bed without washing it off. Approximately 6 hours after the application, the colour will settle into your skin. Reapply as needed in 3-4 to four days for the continual tattoo effect. Colour or results may vary depending on skin types. I think it's really interesting that the description states that the eyebrow tattoo should last for 3-4 to four days, where the packaging actually says seven days. If you're also frowning at my spelling of tattoo, it's not just me not being able to spell, though I do have trouble pronouncing things correctly sometimes, it's actually spelled T-A-T-O-O -O on the packaging. This product comes in two different colours, number one natural brown for light fair skin tones with light brown to warm tone orange hair colour. This is not good for blonde hair. If your hair is blonde, it might look red or orange. The second colour is dark brown for normal to dark skin tone with medium to dark hair. I have shade number two and it looks like this. It's a very cool toned brown, definitely not red or orange. I chose number two because I have very dark hair and I like to have very dark cool toned brows. I find that if I have warm toned red orange sort of toned brows that it makes my skin look even more yellow than it normally does which is not so good. The packaging of this product is very minimalistic, it comes in a very small dark brown tube. The cap is quite difficult to get off which is good if you're taking it travelling with you so it's not going to spill in your bag and the tip is very fine which allows you to create very small strokes. So for my brows the important bits for me to fill in on my left brow is the very top arch. You may notice that this eyebrow looks much different than this one because this one has a scar right in the arch from chicken pox, which is very unfortunate but there's not much I can do about it. No hair grows through the scar and a lot of powders do not stick to scar tissue because it's so smooth. But this product does, which is really great. However, it does fade much faster than the rest of my brows, which is very annoying. My right brow is much thicker and much more normal than my left, so it doesn't need that much help. I do like to fill in underneath the arch a little bit more because when I was younger, beauticians would pluck it really, really small and the hair just stopped growing back as much as the rest of my brow. To fill in the brows, use short light strokes to create a natural looking brow. Start with the areas that need the most colour first, so any bare patches or scarring like I have. When filling in the head of the brow, use short feathery strokes so that you don't end up with a very square, unnatural looking brow. I prefer to do my brows in the morning rather than at night. I do tend to sleep on my face, so I'm worried that if I do my brows in the evening it might rub off onto my white pillows, so if I do them in the morning they have enough time to dry during the day. day one of the brow tattoo and my brows are looking very full and natural. This is day two of the brow tattoo and my brows are holding up really well. They're still very full in colour and they look really nice. This is the third day of the tattoo brows and it's looking okay on the inner corners but on the outsides it's starting to fade into a very yellowish sort of tone. This is day four of the eyebrow tattoo and you can barely tell that it's on. The tails of my brows have gone an interesting shade of yellow, but the head of the brow is completely bare already. 
This is day five of the eyebrow tattoo. There is almost nothing left on my brows now, apart from a small yellow tinge to the tail of my brows, which is not a great look. This is the sixth day of the eyebrow tattoo. It is totally gone now, so it didn't last a full seven days, it barely lasted four. I find this product very hard to maintain because I find it very difficult to not wash my brows. You can get them wet, but you can't actively scrub at them or get any type of cleanser in them, otherwise the colour will just disappear. I think that the best way to use it is to just use it to touch up every morning or every night. It's really easy, you may not even need to do it, but after a couple of days, since it does go a little bit orange, it's wise to do that. I think there are some really good points and some really not so good points about this product. I love that it's quite inexpensive, about nine US dollars, and I've had maybe four or five full seven day weeks out of this product so far. I love that I can go to sleep with my eyebrows on and then wake up with the same eyebrows on and not on the pillow. It's super easy to apply and it looks quite natural as well because the brush tip is so fine. It's waterproof, swimproof, and showerproof, as long as you don't scrub your eyebrows. The points that I don't like so much about this product is that you have to be really, really delicate when you're cleansing around it, which is really annoying. You cannot do sheet masks that cover your eyebrows because the sheet mask will just dissolve the color. It fades after about four days, and it does not fade glamorously. It fades into an orange color and then a yellow. It looks almost like a bruise, and it's just not the nicest to look at. So I both love and hate this product. I think it's really great for traveling. It adheres well to my eyebrow and especially in my eyebrow scars. It looks natural and I think it's actually a great product apart from the fact that you have to be so delicate with your eyebrows if you are not willing to touch up. I would definitely recommend it for any princesses who are looking for a semi-permanent eyebrow color and don't mind being a little bit delicate around the eyebrows or touching up regularly. Thank you so much for watching this review. Like the video, leave a comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!